Good morning. I'm Tyson Singer. I'm the Vice President of Technology and Platforms at Spotify. And I am thrilled that today, over the next couple hours, our team is coming together across Europe and the Americas to talk about one of the most exciting projects I've been a part of in my time here. Backstage. So if you're new to the game, let's roll a short video to help you get up to speed. What is Backstage? Backstage is an open platform for building developer portals. It was created at Spotify and donated to the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Okay, but what's a developer portal? And why would I want one? Good question. First, imagine a developer. These days, you're not just writing code. You're also making trips to your cloud provider's console, troubleshooting Kubernetes, managing security and compliance tools, not to mention hunting for documentation that, even if you find it, is rarely up to date. Each task and subtask has its own UI to learn and its own technology to understand. It doesn't take long for context switching and cognitive load to take their toll. And it's happening all across your company. The more you grow, the more chaotic and fragmented your ecosystem becomes. But with a developer portal like Backstage, all your tooling, software components, data, and documentation are centralized behind a single pane of glass. So instead of being overwhelmed by infrastructure, you're in control of it. At the center of Backstage is a software catalog which organizes all your services, websites, mobile features, libraries, and other software components in one place, regardless of how or where they're running. With software templates, you can create new software components with just a few clicks and with your best practices baked in. With everything centralized and searchable, you can explore your entire ecosystem to build collective knowledge, enable collaboration and reuse, and speed up onboarding. And since Backstage has an extensible plugin architecture built on top of modern technologies and common frameworks, it's easy to add functionality to customize your portal to fit your company's needs. Backstage scales with you, so your teams can build quickly and safely together, reducing infrastructure complexity and increasing developer happiness. Developers have never been more vital. Every business is a software business. Every company is a technology company. It's more important than ever to enable the folks driving that technology to be more effective at their jobs. For many companies, after years of explosive growth, it's also time to actively contend with how we can do more with less and keep driving towards our business aspirations with fewer resources. At the same time, as you saw in the video, being a developer has never been harder. The complexity that they face on a day-to-day -day basis has exploded. And as companies grow, bringing on more powerful technologies and more developers, it only gets more complex. We've seen this time and time again, as Backstage has allowed us to work with hundreds of companies, all wrestling with these same challenges. And Spotify definitely hasn't been immune to these trends. But instead of slowing down during growth, as most companies do, we've accelerated our product development with developer retention rates that defy industry averages. How? our focus on developer effectiveness. We define developer effectiveness as a function of developer productivity and this other concept that we refer to as developer happiness. After years of research and iterating, we've come to understand the causality between developer engagement and satisfaction, aka happiness, and productivity. We believe that for developers, satisfaction and fulfillment typically means creating things. It means shipping great products and features. For everyone, being empowered to do our best work matters. But for developers, being empowered to experiment, try new things, and execute on their ideas really, really matters. Toil and friction that get in the way of these things quickly reduce developer happiness. Or more simply put, our philosophy is happy developers make happy code. I know, it's a somewhat cheeky tagline, but it's become an ethos over the past few years as we've seen more and more companies adopt Backstage. When we named Spotify's internal developer portal, it felt like an apt metaphor 
for the technology that helps power the world's largest audio streaming service. Backstage is where so much hidden activity happens to make the performance on stage a great one. Our company mission is to unlock human potential and creativity. Developers are creators, some of the most prolific creators in the world. We believe they need a better experience to do their best work. And that's what we've always aimed to provide with Backstage. The Spotify plugins for Backstage bundle subscription is just the next step on that journey. We love that Backstage is open source. With the rapid innovation powered by a diverse global community, adopters can leverage the learnings, contributions, and plugins created by others. They also avoid single vendor lock-in and are able to customize their developer portal built off the Backstage framework to meet their needs. Backstage is the only solution in this space with such freedom. In the nearly three years since we open sourced it, Backstage has become a thriving community-led platform. This year, the Backstage maintainers and our contributor community have been hyper-focused on bringing more maturity and enterprise readiness to the platform. From instilling stable versioning and release cycles, to improving the platform security posture, to moving through the CNCF maturity curve to the incubation phase. And what most excites me is the incredible growth we've seen within the community. More than 500 adopters and more than 1,500 contributors across the globe are using Backstage to create better experiences for their fellow developers. In fact, we estimate that Backstage is now being used by more than 1 million end user developers. Backstage has been adopted by enterprise companies in healthcare, gaming, manufacturing, government, and more. Companies that look and feel a lot like Spotify, and companies that don't. You don't have to be a global audio streaming service to find value from Backstage. You can be a communications tech company trying to make documentation a core citizen within your software. You can be a travel organization looking to enable new joiners to ship in production from day one. You can be a digital real estate company aiming to kill spreadsheets as a service and develop a single source of truth for your tools. In hundreds of examples, we see Backstage delivering real business value when engineers can onboard and get up to speed on new projects more quickly, when context switching between interfaces and systems is reduced, and when it's easy to find the information you need. All of this translates to more creativity and knowledge sharing, higher employee retention rates, and faster time to market. At this point, I think it's clear that Backstage is not only moving the needle on improving software development processes for hundreds of organizations, it's creating a paradigm shift through this concept of developer effectiveness. Let me be clear, Backstage is not a silver bullet that can be thrown into your company and solve everything overnight. And there is no one-size-fits-all approach to successful Backstage adoption. But when it's leveraged, Backstage is a mechanism and a community that can help evolve your business by driving a step change in your organization's developer experience. Why does this matter? Well, for a product development team of 1,000, even a 10% improvement in productivity is equivalent to adding 100 developers per year, which translates to tens of millions in investment. And at Spotify, we've seen much more than a 10% year-over-year increase in our productivity. On top of improving the experience, this also improves engagement and retention, which is strongly correlated with company performance. Before we open sourced it, our teams at Spotify knew what we had with Backstage was special. Our developers loved it, and we'd proven that it was driving better experience, and ultimately, our business's success. But when we saw how special it was to others and what it could do for them, we wondered, was there an opportunity to ship more of Spotify's engineering culture beyond our teams? And that's really what we're here to talk about today. Why are we trying to bring more of our secret sauce to the world? Why should you want what we've built here at Spotify? For the first why, it's because the success of Backstage has shown us that we have a lot of great lessons learned. Lessons on how to solve common software development challenges, how to reduce operational toil, and incentivize behavior change, 
and how to improve collaboration, transparency, and learning. We want to share them with you. And we want to build a sustainable business model that allows us to continue to do so. And why should you want what we've built? I've already touched on a few of the reasons, but it boils down to these four things. First, our philosophy for organizing teams. Our 450 plus squads are lean, cross-functional, and balance the polarities between autonomy and collaboration. We prioritize individual development and mobility to maximize both value for our employees and our business. Second, our attention to engineering excellence and quality. We know that strong engineering practices are the foundation of speed and agility. And the fewer technologies we are world-class on, the faster we get. Third, our belief in empowering our engineers. We give our teams the power to pick the right tools for the right job, and for the most part, we don't issue top-down mandates. Instead, we focus on incentives in our efforts to drive alignment and reduce fragmentation. And lastly, our focus on building products with empathy and a customer-centric approach. Our developers are human beings who deserve as great of an experience as our listeners and creators do. We try to ensure that tools in the Spotify platform are the right tools for the job and that we listen and adapt when they aren't. You're going to hear more from our teams today on how that secret sauce has resulted in these plugins. Plugins specifically designed to help you accelerate your developer experience goals, all within Backstage. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Austin and Meg to share more about the Spotify plugins for Backstage bundle subscription.